Greetings and salutations in service to the one I am, Amber Dawn Star, practical mystic, energetic activist, and for over 35 years, master breathologist. Welcome back to my channel and my community. First off, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to all the people that uh, watched my last video. I had more watches on that video than I've had in the whole time I've been doing this channel, which is a little while now. <laughs> So I just want to thank you all for that. That just touched me deeply. And I also want to thank the, the new subscribers. That was awesome too. It's like, yay! And they and they make comments and everything. <laughs> See, I just, you know, those little things. <laughs> those little things really get me excited. So I just want to thank you all for being part of this and, and being here and being here today. Um, after that um, new moon, uh, I'm sorry, the new year and the Mercury retrograde, which is still going on. Mercury retrograde is still going on for a couple more weeks. And of course, we just had the full moon in Cancer yesterday. And uh, I don't know about you, <laughs> but that kind of brought up some stuff for me. Um, if you have any cancer placements in your chart, of course it's going to, regardless. It was the full moon, which is the home of the moon is cancer. But if you have, you know, your, your rising, your sun, or any other placements in cancer, you are feeling it. And basically, cancer is the mother and Capricorn is the father. <laughs> Yay! Saturn, father, and the moon, mother. So that, that axis that Cancer Capricorn rules and is on is about, of course, Cancer being the mother, the nurturer, the giver of life, <laughs> and hopefully someone that you still love and respect and also the the cancer is about the past cancers love the past and i mean putting love in quotes because it's like ugh, it's kind of a love hate thing with the past but they are there they like to stay there they like to be there it's like nostalgia if you have good memories of the past and even if you don't even if you don't have good memories of the past, cancer likes to stay there. <laughs> it's like, ah, wah. And wah is about right because a lot of uh, cancer traits are about the child and staying the child, even if you're all grown up like Capricorn wants you to be because Capricorn is the father and Capricorn ruled by Saturn wants you to grow the flip flop up now. You've had enough time, no matter how old you are, to be the baby. The wham, 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 I'm not getting my way, baby. And move into your adulthood because what's coming <laughs> after these retrogrades are done, which is not only Mercury retrograde, but Mars is also retrograde and Uranus is also retrograde. So there's a lot of energy that wants to move forward. So if you're feeling frustrated because you want to get things going and they don't seem to want to get going, that's why. We've only got a couple more weeks of this. So what Saturn and Capricorn is asking of you is to strategize is to make plans for what you want to see and what you want to achieve. Saturn is about, you know, the mountain goat getting to the top of that mountain. So regardless of what it's going to take for you to get to that top of that mountain, do it. <laughs> and, and, and do it now and get ready to do it now because what's coming is, is going to shock the shite out of you. It's going to blow open all the doors that you thought were uh, closed <laughs> and not accessible. And those doors, doors are going to be open now in ways that none of us have ever seen on this planet. So you might want to get ready and do some of your homework before the test. <laughs> because Capricorn loves to test. 
Oh boy, and we still got a couple more weeks from Capricorn. Let's see, where are we? We're at the 7th, so yeah, we're on the 21st. Um, actually, the sun goes into Aquarius and the Aquarius new moon. And that is when everything starts to come back online. So, of course, Mercury, you know, rules your communication. So go over your communication and how you've been communicating and what you've been communicating. Ugh. Huh. Especially <laughs> over the last three years. Because Mercury is actually coming over to the degree where we had the big um, meetup in January of 2020 of Saturn and Pluto and Mercury all in Capricorn. I think Venus was there too. That started the whole ball rolling, didn't it? Oh boy. So what have you been doing over the last three years besides, you know, ingesting a lot of the lies? that have been shoved down our throat. Well, now we are going to see, after everything gets back online, we're going to see some truth bombs. <laughs> I don't like that word bomb, but it's going to feel like that. It's going to feel like there have been a lot of things that we have been told that are not correct. And of course, the truth will out. I love that saying because it's about the truth will out you <laughs> eventually, maybe not the same day, but eventually the truth will out you if you've been lying. If you've been lying to yourself, if you've been lying to your friends, your family, anybody, especially yourself, it will come out. So what you want to do right now, while you still have the opportunity, is to strategize how you want to approach the rest of the time of this year. Because this year is going to be the precursor of the next seven. So what happens this year is going to set the tone for the next seven. So you think that the, you know, you've been going through a lot of stuff with uh, the past, of course, cancer, the past, the mother, don't forget, the mother, she rules, the moon rules, cancer rules, the moon, the mother, the past, and how has the past kept you small and kept you with your head in the sand? <laughs> Like, you don't want to look at what's really going on. I want to stay a baby. I'm not getting my way. I want, I want, I want, I want it now, now, now. You know, like babies are. <laughs> they're, they're very um, needy, aren't they? Oh, my gosh. Yes, they are very needy. So uh, where have you been that baby? Where have you been the one that was like, ah, I don't want to get my head out of the sand. I want to just keep going in the whole direction that I've been going, which is, you know, a lot of, um, well, I'm going to blame you for my uh, decisions and I'm going to blame you for my uh, situations right now because, you know, it's easier, much easier to blame, easier to blame than it is to actually take responsibility and accountability for yourself, which is Capricorn. <laughs> Capricorn is the father and the disciplinarian and the strategist and the one that wants to see you succeed. Capricorn is about succeeding, getting to the top of that mountain, whatever that mountain is for you. Capricorn wants you to do that. Capricorn wants you to make it. However, you need a plan. And especially with what's coming, you're going to really need a plan. So you want to go over because retrogrades are about going back over what it is that you've you know been doing so mercury is one of them mars is another one and of course mars is the planet of moving forward and going forward and let's move this and let's do this and it's a do 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 planet ruled you know aries i am let's go let's go and and we've been doing that However, where has it not been working? So, of course, it's time to go over those plans that you have made in the past and see if they're still viable. 
see if they still really work for you. See if they really are going to put you in the place where you want to be in this next year. <laughs> and, you know, the rest of it. Oh, yikes. Not just this year, but this is definitely getting us ready for what's coming, which is uh, nothing we've ever seen on this planet. Uh, we've never seen this, what's coming. So please take the opportunity that we're still in these retrogrades and, you know, go back over and see where you can tweak the plan or throw the plan out completely, make a new plan, see where you need to adjust because that's what Capricorn is about. The Father is about that, the discipline that it takes to make your plans come into fruition. And that's what we want. This is about what it is that you're doing here. Uranus is, of course, ruled by Aquarius. And we are actually going into Aquarius in a couple of weeks. And that's when everything starts to come back online. And so you are going to want to have an idea, at least, <laughs> of where you want to take this year where your plans are going, what you're really about. Bigger picture, bigger picture. Aquarius, which we are moving into the age of Aquarius, officially pretty quick when Pluto goes in. It's about the, the group. It's about the group consciousness. It's about the Christ consciousness coming back to everyone that's ready. Uh, I'm not going to say the masses because <laughs> most masses that I've noticed are not ready. They still want to be the baby and they still want to stick their heads in the sand and they still want mommy to do it or daddy to do it. Just anybody but me do it. And that's not what this time is about. This time is about getting ready and preparing yourselves as much as you possibly can. Inner you know, your connection to your heart, your consciousness, source, your breath, keep you in alignment in the moment to make the plans that you need to make to get you where you want to be and let go of the plans that haven't worked, the relationships that haven't worked. And that covers the whole gamut, you know, usually starting with the family. Because of course, you know, fourth house, family, cancer, mom, yeah. So if you still have issues with your mom or your dad or your siblings or your children, <laughs> it's time to really decide, okay, can you still keep carrying the weight of those broken promises, of those words that, you know, the, the talk did not match the walk. In fact, there was no walking. It was just blah, 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 blah. How much can you deal with that? How much can you do that? I mean, I know in my own life, I have some major planets in the fourth house and I have had to come to the conclusion now that I cannot continue to go forward with the baggage of people's yakety yak. I. I want to believe it. I so want to believe it. I just want it to be truth. And, and my heart just please be truth. And then I'm shown over and over and over again that there is no walking of the talking. And then another chance is given and another chance is given. And I'm sure in your life you have done that also. You have given people that you love other chances, more chances, please, more. Show me that you're capable of what you're talking about. <laughs> However, if you're not seeing that now, if that is not the truth of what is in your life right now, it's time to lovingly detach. It's time to lovingly step back and allow the people that you love the most to live their life and whatever their path is because we all have our path and we all have our stories right and they're amazing I mean geez Louise the stories people's stories Wow amazing 
However, if those stories aren't matching up with your ability to be there with these people and they are not willing to be there with themselves so they can be there with you and others, it's time to let that go. As hard as that may be. And I don't mean never talk to them again. I just mean don't invest your energetic, your energy, your feelings into something that doesn't want to grow, that doesn't want to change, that doesn't want to be what they came to be. It, it, we don't have time for that anymore. And I know in my own life, I'm just too, <laughs> I'm too far down the road now to keep going back over the things that I really want to see happen that aren't happening. I, I, you know, get glimmers of it, just like, oh yeah, that's it, and then pulled back away. So, I don't have the time, I don't have the energy anymore to keep putting that out to people that don't want to do it for themselves. Capricorn is about taking responsibility. So we're in Capricorn Sun, Cancer Moon, Father, Mother. Within, also, where are you as your father and mother within? Are you too much disciplinarian? Are you too much of a smother mother? You know, you got to balance it. it. It has to be balanced. And it's important right now that we do that. And Uranus, of course, is the planet about sudden change. It's about, whoa, you know, you're not going to see this coming. It's like left field, coming out of left field. That's Uranus. And so all of these major planets, Mercury, Mars, Uranus are still retrograde. So all of the areas in your life where you've made these plans and they're not exactly coming out the way you want, you might, you know, like I said, go over, tweak them up, look at them, or throw them the flip-flop out and start over. Yeah, start over. It's okay. You still got time to do that. <laughs> we still have a little bit of time to do that. So do that for yourself and for all of us. Because Aquarius is about all of us. It's about the whole. But the light workers on this planet that have been doing the work and running interference for a lot of people out there, people that you know in your life, family, friends, cancer, the past, if you've been running interference for these people and, you know, letting you take the brunt of what's coming and what has come, it's time for you to, you know, hang up your jersey, I believe is what they say. And let, ooh, lovely. Oh, I just saw beautiful hair and fly by my window. Oh, lovely. Thank you. Ah, see the universe always sending signs to us, right? <laughs> Keep looking for those signs. Keep looking for the signs that you're headed in the right direction. Even if it's sometimes it doesn't feel that way. Even if sometimes you have to let go of the closest people to you. And let go of them energetically. Yes, you still love them. Yes, you still pray for them every day. Yes, you still light candles for them. Yes, you ask and talk to their higher self to please bring them back to their higher selves and not their egos their negative egos, their baby egos <laughs> that just want, 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 want. What are you willing to give? What It's about giving. It's about giving back. It's about giving back to the whole. Bob Dylan had a song called You Gotta Serve Somebody. Somewhere along the line, you gotta serve somebody. And we have been doing that as light workers. We have been serving the whole. Whether we're acknowledged for it or not, whether we're loved or liked for it or not. In fact, a lot of us are, you know, shunned for it, <laughs> for telling the truth and being the truth and walking the truth. A lot of us have been put aside for that and maligned for that and been you know people have been jealous and envious of that but you know this is work capricorn this is work you know we didn't just show up here like this i know i didn't i'll just speak for me i did not show up here just like la -di -da, i know all of this no no <laughs> i came from a background of uh no you don't 
you don't, uh, you do what I say, not what I do. That's how I was raised. Yeah. And, and that generation, you know, that was the generation of, you know, peace. Yes, we had this sign for peace. And uh, unfortunately, now, you know, the, the next generations that have come, uh, a lot of the millennials, especially, uh, 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 a lot of the millennials, their sign is this. So give it all to me and up yours if you do or if you don't, up yours, but still give it to me anyway. And if you have millennial children, I do. And I am from the generation of peace and love. Thank you. It is a big challenge to keep going when you're uh, a lot of the time derided for your beliefs and your walking of your talking because a lot of them don't want to walk the talk and a lot of them just want you to do it and um, always do it and if you don't do it the way they want then they'll stop talking to you yeah it's great it's a wonderful practice <laughs> of allowing and patience and understanding that, you know, there's a lot of babies walking around out there that are posing as adults. Just because you're a certain age does not make you an adult. Obviously. I mean, look at our freaking government. <laughs> Talk about a circus of babies. Yeah, that was fun to watch. I enjoyed it personally. I enjoyed the whole thing that was going on with electing the Speaker of the House. I loved it, but I'm getting off track. So, see where you are still holding on to an energetic that doesn't work for you anymore. See how you can tweak it or change it or let it go because we need all of you on board. We, we need everybody on board, all hands on deck, so to speak, for what's coming and what is right now, because the truth is coming. That's what's coming. <laughs> and if you thought the truth was hard to swallow when you were in denial, wait till you see what's coming when you're going, okay, I'm ready to feel it and see it and be it and express it then you get to get the whole gamut of of what it might be like to actually be a light worker on this planet right now so do your due diligence and weed it out and get to the top of your own mountain so you can help the rest of us you know get there too be the example walk your talk let go of the past Heal your mom and dad issues. Forgive them. Come on. You know, we're 21st century, and look where we are, really. I mean, has much changed <laughs> as far as how we walk our talk? I mean, has it? Really? Uh, I don't know. If you're spending billions and billions of dollars for war and not billions and billions of dollars for people, then we haven't really changed much, have we? No. So, it's an opportunity. Please take this opportunity for yourselves. Do what you know to do. Strategize. Get those plans. If you have to write it down, check off what you need to do. What works? What doesn't work? Let go of the past. Ah, it's done. It's over. God bless it. Let it go, because if it's still running your show, you are going to have a really challenging time in what's, for what's coming. You have to be as light as possible. You have to be as free as possible. You have to allow the light to come through you as much as possible. You have to be the one to show, look, people are like, oh, something's going on with that person because they're not, they don't seem to be all caught up in this. And that's our jobs right now as light workers. I mean, it's been our jobs, <laughs> but we had to go through our own stuff first so we could be that for other people. And now we're going to step into why we're here. Yeah, the truth of really why we're here and the bigger 
picture. Aquarius is about the bigger picture. Right now we're still in Capricorn Sun, Cancer Moon, we're still in that. So that's still that axis of mom and dad and past and present and moving into the future with Aquarius. Aquarius Sun, Aquarius New Moon coming up in a couple of weeks and Mercury coming back direct and Mars coming back direct and Uranus coming back direct. By the end of the month, all of those three planets will be direct. And then you're going to see some stuff. Oh boy. So, thank you again all for, for joining me today. Thank you all the people that, um, my new subscribers, all the people that left comments, all the people that watched the last video. I, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I have been doing this for a while and I have not really had a lot of feedback. And now I am. <laughs> And it's like, yay! Oh, good. Because I know that this is part of what I'm supposed to be doing, being the channel for the truth. And I have been doing that all my life, but I have not been seen or acknowledged for it. And now it's like, whether you see me or acknowledge me or not, and a few of you are, like I said, which is awesome. However, I just have to keep walking the talk of the truth. And I hope and I trust that you will too. So, thank you. Please like, subscribe, share, watch, comment. Oh, yay. I really appreciate all your comments. Even the one that I got that was kind of, that actually made me laugh out loud. <laughs> Literally, the comment was, you're scary. <laughs> And I'm not sure exactly what that person meant for that, but it was okay. It actually made me laugh out loud. So keep laughing. Keep shining your light. Keep being the incredible spark of all it is that you are. And come back and see me soon. Okay? Om. Namo Shivaya. All is thine. None is mine. El Kalimo. The Hathor's peace. Namaste. I am another yourself. Don't forget that we are one. On the quantum level, level, we are one. We are all one. We are all sparks of all that is. So, come back and see me. I'll be back soon. Have a great rest of your day. And... Get on board with the light and the love that you truly are. All right. Bye for now.